Hey, welcome to the show. Now, I'm here with Adrian. He's a PGA pro up in Derbyshire. Now, Adrian, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, tell me about your life as a PGA pro. Uh, exciting. Um, lots of rewarding opportunities that I get involved with. And I have my own key coaching business, work uh, for American Golf, yeah. and just finished some filming today. And um, yeah, really excited. Yeah, it's good, uh, good business to be in. And you run AOS Golf Coaching, is that right? That's right, yeah. yeah. What's that all about? Um, basically, it's a, it's a brand that uh, I set up myself, uh, based in, in Derbyshire, in, in the Midland area. And we kind of provide coaching for all levels, so beginners right through to intermediates, to professionals. And um, yeah, going to schools, trying to develop um, all sorts of sides of, of golf, really. So yeah, it's a dynamic and, and sort of progressing company, I feel, so yeah. What do you find is the most common problem you see amongst amateur golfers? Um, I know it comes down to a lot of it to do with time, uh, but being productive on the practice grounds, uh, not kind of wasting time, um, beating a lot of golf balls when I'm, I'm delivering my coaching and see uh, amateur on the, on the driving range, just in driver a lot and, and not really getting a lot out of their, their time spent on the driving range. If it could be more productive, uh, they'd certainly get more out of their game uh, and improve a lot better, you know, a lot faster. Yeah. And what do you think has uh, changed the most in your nine years of teaching? Like, there's a lot of advancements in technology, like a launch mm -hmm. monitor. How's that helped? Yeah, it's it's definitely a help. Um, at the same time, it can be a bit of a hindrance, but but generally, it's been a help. It's good to kind of put some facts to um, to what what the golfer does. Uh, so for example, numbers, for example, of how far they hit the ball, um, what is actually happening at impact. It's important that we make sure that that's uh, fact based now uh, and not just an opinion. And I think that's really helped. And um, yeah, I can only see it being a, a, a good tool to use, um, as well as having experience and, and cameras and other bits of equipment like that as well. So yeah, it's good. And golf is surely growing a lot. Mm -hmm. Every day, more and more golfers are out there. What do you like most about helping others? What do you find most rewarding? Uh, most rewarding is just seeing the reaction uh, of when they hit a good shot and you feel that you've you've helped them to do that. Um, yeah, uh, from hugs and from high fives and just general sort of happiness about playing better golf is, is the most rewarding part. So um, yeah, it doesn't, you can't beat it really, it's great. Good fun. You do a lot of tip videos here for American Golf. That's right. What have you been looking at lately? Um, well, we tried to go down a slightly different route from the today's uh, tips that I did. So we, we covered a little bit on um, working on fairway wood shots. Uh, we also looked at how a pre-shot routine is important to make sure that it doesn't matter where you're, the, you're on the practice ground or on the on the course. Uh, that should be exactly the same. There shouldn't be a step up to the, the course. Um, and we went out and set out a challenge. I've done a, a five-shot challenge on the short game and I'm um, looking forward to seeing how people get on with that. Great. So that should be good. And what's next for you? Next for me, um, I'll be back home tonight. Yep. Um, tomorrow we've got a demonstration day with a brand uh, in the store. Then over to Peterborough on Friday, we've got a road show with American Golf. Uh, and then I'm county coaching myself at the weekend for Derbyshire uh, Juniors. So it's, yeah, busy, busy week. Uh, yeah, you've definitely <laughs> got a busy week ahead of yes, you. So. Well, good luck and okay. hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much. Thank you.